Let us now go to epigastric pain. The topic is liver and stomach blood stasis. Let us look at a case history of a 45-year-old woman who had been suffering from epigastric pain for 33 years. She had had a duodenal ulcer when she was 12. The pain was tabbing in character and radiated from the epigastrium to the right hypochondrial region. It was worse at night, was accompanied by nausea, and was aggravated by emotional stress. She had had a lot of such stress recently, being in the process of a bitter divorce. Her periods were irregular and painful, and the blood was very dark with clots. She often felt very tired and her pulse was wiry and full. Her tongue was reddish purple with a spleen type of swelling on the sides and a yellow coating. Her diagnosis is a clear condition of stasis of blood affecting the liver and the stomach. This is apparent from the stabbing character of the pain, its aggravation at night, the painful periods with dark clotted blood, the wiry pulse and the reddish purple tongue. Stasis of liver blood implies stagnation of liver chi. This was apparent from the nausea and the aggravation of the pain with emotional stress. Obviously, due to the very long duration of the problem, there was also some spleen chi deficiency as evidenced by the swelling on the sides of the tongue and the tiredness. The treatment principle adopted was to move liver chi and liver blood, calm the mind, settle the ethereal soul, and tonify the spleen. She was treated with acupuncture and herbs. The acupuncture points used were selected from the following. REN 12, stomach 36, spleen 6 was used with reinforcing method to tonify spleen chi. Spleen 6 also moves blood and calms the mind. Liver 14 and gallbladder 34 was used with even method to move liver chi. Pericardium 6 was used with even method to move liver chi, move blood, subdue rebellious stomach chi, harmonize the upper and middle burners, calm the mind and settle the ethereal soul. Spleen 10 and bladder 17 was used with even method to move blood. Thank you so much for your attention.